let's talk about the main focus of the budget that you presented today. Just quickly, if you can just give us uh, the main focus there. Well, our main focus is uh, growth and jobs, as you said. Um, we have to see how we take our uh, budget and really focus it towards the growth trajectory, which uh, we do realize that if we really want to deliver on our problem areas, which is poverty, we need to have growth and create the jobs that are necessary. Obviously, at the same time, we've also got to spend our budget that where the Constitution dictates we need to spend it. So primarily in two other spaces, um, the one being education and the one being health. So a third of our budget, in excess of a third of our budget goes to health and a third of our budget goes to, goes to education. But both of those also, we believe, um, lend themselves towards growth because we cannot grow our economy if we have a population that is unhealthy. So we need to focus towards wellness. And of course, if we are to have growth, we need to make sure we've got a well-educated population. So um, we're very happy to be spending um, the kind of money that we are on education. Yeah. Now, despite your best efforts, your forecast of growth in the Western Cape will be 4.2 percent for 2011, rising to 4.6 percent for 2013. Anemic by most standards, because we do know that to be able to create the amount of jobs that the economy requires that will uh, ensure the stability that all of us are looking for, the economy needs to grow in excess of 7 percent. When can we expect growth to accelerate to the right levels? And what measures do governments like yours need to take to get that growth up there? Well, I think first of all, we understand that uh, you know, government's job is to create the platform in which uh, businesses can do what they do best, and that's employ people and, uh, and grow the economy. So we need to make sure that, first of all, we run well-run and efficient government um, that can be trusted by the private sector. So uh, we know that our money is well spent, it's not spent in the wrong places, and that we're not, uh, we're not involved in any corrupt activities, that every single cent of taxpayers' money we spend in creating that platform, in creating that infrastructure for business to do what they do. And obviously if we do that correctly, and we also create the right atmosphere, we will get more investment. Um, and through attracting investment, through attracting skills, we believe that we then um, will be on the, the right path to, to uh, exceed those projections of growth. Yeah. Now, in terms of uh, preparing for this budget and allocating the resources that you have uh, at a time when we do know that there's a lot of need, how, just how difficult was it to allocate those resources and give them out? Well, it's always difficult, but uh, what we've done, and, and I think it's uh, the first time that we really are committing to it, we've said that um, where it comes to economic development, we in the province own 100 billion rands worth of property. We've said let's have a look to see if some of that property can be used in a regeneration process where we don't sell it, we go out and call for, for expressions of interest from the public, and we partner. And in so doing, what we've done is we've created an, a reserve of funds um, up to a billion rand where we've put to one side and we've said that um, if you can come to the province with a great idea, um, be it in regeneration, which is where we partner our properties uh, with the private sector and with other government spheres to be a lever and a catalyst for growth, or we've also said, well, let's take some money and put it aside for really um, wonderful economic development projects that don't only just uh, need funding directly from government, but also that uh, act as a catalyst and a lever to attract further funding from national government, which we've seen some, some large numbers put on the table, um, as well as private sector, because we do believe that it's a partnership. Um, and we've also said let's put some extra money aside for, gr for, for good projects that uh, are linked to road infrastructure that would free up, let's say, agricultural, um, agricultural production to markets. Um, if we can create some, uh, some opening up of those markets, uh, we'll put some money into that as well.